bod um, yr cerdyn teithio uh, ar y bysys am ddim yn rhywbeth mae pobl yn ei drysori ag, ag yn iawn felly uh, hefyd mae pobl yn edrych ymlaen am uh, gyrraedd chwedeg ac cael y cerdyn am ddim a deud y gwir a fi na ond yn ifanc dwi yn edrych ymlaen yn barod Manteisio yn y ffordd dwi yn gweld llawer o bobl yn manteisio uh, arno fo o'r thefnyddio y cerdyn yma ac felly nid rhywbeth yw gymeryd yn ysgawn wrth gwrs ydy uh, cynyddu yr uh, oedran dwi yn uh, yn y cydnabod, uh, nad rhyw beth fyddai'n digwydd uh, mewn i'n cam ydy hyn, y byddai fo yn digwydd dros gyfnod o amser, ond uh, er hynny, mae yna gwestiynna, uh, dwi'n meddwl mae'n bwysig i'w gofyn ynglyn â be fi ddeffaith hyn, dyn ni wedi clo cyfeiriad at, at ambell un ond nhw'n barod, a mi hoffwn i sicrwydd gan y gwneudog ynglyn â'r math o fesur fydd yn cael ei wneud uh, i geisio rhagweld yr costau allai godi uh, yn sgil codi yr oedran. Yr uh, uh, costau yn amgylcheddol y bosib os ydy pobl yn uh, dewis peidio defnyddio'r bws ac yn defnyddio eu car i hun. Mae hynny yn rhywbeth sydd wedi bod o fantais fawr o, o gael uh, y cerdyn teithio am ddim. Bod mwy o bobl uh, wedi dewis defnyddio uh, dulliau teithio torfol. Ond hefyd, uh, mi fyddwn ni'n licio clywed am y math o fesur sydd yn neu yn mynd i gael ei wneud o'r or costa cymdeithasol o bobl yn dewis peidio mynd allan uh, o'u cartrefi. Uh, Beth sy'n siarad neithiwr yn digwydd bod a, ag un person oedd yn fregus, yn fregus iawn. Uh, a oedd uh, yn dychwelyd yn ôl i'w gartref o ar ôl diwrnod ar y bys o gwmpas yn y smôn ac yn amlwg wedi cael uh, pleser mawr o wneud hynny. Felly mi hoffwn i sicrwydd uh, ar, uh, ar y, y meysydd hynny. Ar er mater o'r um, darpariau'r pasus newydd, um, Mi oedd yr er anhawsterau uh, efo'r system ar lein yn rhywbeth nath achosi pryder mawr i lawer iawn o'n etholwyr uh, i. Edrych yma ein sy'n bwysig, nid edrych yn ôl, ond, ond tybed pa fath o stres testio gafodd ei wneud ar y system o ystyried gymaint o bobl oedd yn cael uh, ei gofyn i uh, adnewyddu i pasus nhw. Ac mi glywson i un gwneudog, y gwneudog cyllid, dwi'n meddwl yn deud chydig o thnosan ôl, o, oh, mae ganddyn nhw ddigon o amser, mae ganddyn nhw tan diwedd mi rhag Gwyr. Nid fel na mae pobl yn gweithio. Um, dwi wedi dod ar draws, uh, dwi'n ni'n faint o bobl yn ynswyddfa fi uh, sy'n eisio sortio hyn heddiw. Oherwydd i bod nhw'n poeni, bod nhw'n mynd i golli i pasus. Uh, a dwi wedi gweld y lois yn llygaid pobl. Dyna pam dwi'n ynswyddfa fi. Uh, Efo'n staff i wedi bod yn cynnig gwasanaeth i bobl uh, yn uh, gwneud y cais ar i'r rhan nhw. Ac mae yna i geiniau o bobl wedi bod yn dod i mewn i'n swyddfa fi ac mae wedi bod yn, ba- yn braf iawn uh, gallu ei, ei helpu nhw. Um, felly, um, mi fyswn ni'n dymuno uh, sicrwydd uh, bod popeth yn cael ei wneud i ymgrysylli a phobl yn fian i sicrhau i bod nhw yn gallu uh, cael adnewyddu i pasus. Uh, a hefyd, uh, y sicrwydd pan fydd rhagfyr, uh, y dwrnod olaf mi rhagfyr yn agos ai, uh, bod... Uh, Yr gwaith yn cynyddu o sicrhau bod pawb uh, wedi cael y pasus newydd. Achos dwi'n gwybod yn y pryder sydd yna mewn llywodraeth leol, mae'ch fi gyda chi o'r, uh, o'r datganiad heddiw yn deud bod 47 y cant o bob siwrna bys erbyn hyn yn, uh, yn cael eu cymryd gan pobl efo, efo pas. O gollu'r siwrneiau hynny, mae hynny'n golled o incwm uh, i uh, lywodraeth leol a radeg pan na allan nhw fforddio colli uh, yr incwm uh, yna. Uh, felly mi hoffwn i sicrwydd y bydd pethau yn dwysau o ran yr ymdrechion i gael pawb i gael pas newydd uh, wrth i ddwrnod olau'r rhagfyr yn sain. Can I just be clear and thank um, uh, Freen Up Yoros for his questions. That local government is not making money from the concessionary fare scheme. In, in fact, local government uh, is contributing towards it. The, the key is in ensuring that the 80 plus bus operators across Wales that currently get reimbursed for the concessionary scheme operate on business models that are sustainable for the future. And the problem that we've got right now is because 47% of journeys are related to the concessionary fare schemes, i.e. free and based on the reimbursement, there is insufficient growth in the fare box, people who are actually paying for their journeys. And that's what's leading to those tiny margins and a lack of sustainability within the market. In turn, that's why we need to drive up the number of people that pay to use buses 
And that's why we're looking at the broad vision of improving the attractiveness of travelling by, uh, by bus, of looking at fare systems which currently operate in different parts of the world, which I think are very interesting, in order to make bus travel more affordable to the individual, but to drive up patronage to such a degree as bus services and bus companies are sustainable and raising enough from the fare box to survive. Um, I think Srinath Yorath is absolutely right. People treasure their bus passes, and not a single person who has one now will be deprived of it by the end of the year. There is, still is plenty of time to apply for the concessionary fare pass. Now, but I do accept that people do want to get that piece of work out of their lives as soon as they can and apply and get it done, and get it done with. Now, that led to, on September the 11th, a huge amount of traffic to the website and unfortunately um, with the bandwidth that was applied to it, it, uh, it suffered from failure. Um, over the following days the bandwidth was increased substantially and further stress tests were undertaken. I'm pleased that uh, there have been no issues uh, since and we've now seen around 210 thousand applications on the website in a very very short space of time. We're talking about just uh, a small number of weeks and that's why I'm confident that by the end of the year we will have been able to process all of those applications. In terms of um, moving from the car to bus services and the risk of vice versa happening, people um, deciding not to pay for bus services and moving back into their cars, well the problem that we have at the moment is that even with free bus travel, for many people who are over 60 but still, still in work, bus services are not attractive because they're not as reliable as they, they would require um, in order to get to work on time or because they don't serve them in the community that they live. The system is simply not operating correctly and that's why we're introducing the reforms through the buses bill. And in time, we will be able to deliver a network that is far more integrated, where we can apply higher quality uh, standards, where we can apply a fairer, fair regime. And it's my uh, belief that as a result of that, with the investment in bus infrastructure and bus rapid transport and bus routes, um, we'll be able to entice far more people out of their cars and onto buses. Um, and in terms of the cost of raising the eligibility, well actually the cost is going to be incurred if we don't raise the age of eligibility. We know at the moment that there are around about 750,000 uh, passes in circulation um, based on the percentage increase in population um, over 60 between now and 2030. It would amount to an additional, if we did nothing, an additional um, contribution of something in the order of 17 and a half million potentially between uh, Welsh Government and local authorities. Certainly as a minimum we would expect to see an increased cost of around 10 and a half million pounds. But that's also in turn based on the fact that only 420,000 of those three quarters of a million uh, passes are actually in active use. If everybody started using their passes more regularly then the cost would balloon even more and the system in turn would become even less sustainable and we do have finite resources. I would invite any member in the chamber to identify how we would, um, how we would secure an additional £17.5 million pounds or more per year in order to maintain the scheme as it is as people work longer and are more physically active for longer in their lives. And there is a cost to others in society if we don't make these changes. For example, you know, we know that people aged 60 to 64 have a higher average income than people aged 35 or less. They also have lower levels of material deprivation. Now, I'm not trying to play off one group of people against another, but I do think it's important to recognise that younger people right now are struggling incredibly. And in some parts of Wales, 20% of young people can't afford or can't get access uh, to public transport, even to get a job interview. That is simply not right. And the, pro and the reforms that we're going to be making over the coming months will address that injustice.